Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get here with the truth. So today we're doing the Charlo versus Benavidez Jr. is on video as undefeated. Um, I would call him reigning, but I'm going to call him inactive middleweight champion of the world. Um, Jamal Charlo will battle former world title challenger Jose Benavidez Jr. on the November 25th Showtime pay-per-view card. That'll be the undercard of the Benavidez, David Benavidez versus Demetrius Andre interim super middleweight title fight. Now, before we get into this one, if you could smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, I really do appreciate any and all support that I can get as I continue to build my channel up here. So back to this fight, um, you know, I, I, it's kind of a mixed bag in terms of being excited because I think the only reason that a lot of people are excited about Charlo and Benavidez is, be, uh, is because Charlo's actually coming back and we know that he's in the Canelo sweepstakes. We know that. But outside of that, I really think it's kind of a so what kind of deal, especially if this fight... Um, well, I mean, it, it shouldn't be for the WBC middleweight title. We really, and we don't know exactly where it's going to take place officially, if it's taking place at middleweight or not. I mean, I personally think it's a joke that Charlo, after nearly two and a half years of, of inactivity, is still the WBC champion. But he is, um, and, you know, he's fighting. So, um... You know, I'm, I'm very interested in seeing what the outcome of this fight ends up being um, in the fight itself. Now, Benavidez is not a true middleweight. You know, he made his debut in his last fight in August and got a, a TKO win there to um, make his middleweight debut. But it was against some straight nobody. And, um, you know, but Benavidez's aggressive style, his hunger, you know, I mean... I, I think if you're looking at Charlo at his best overall, um, he's the better boxer and obviously the more natural middleweight, but Benavidez is hungry and he's coming into this one with something to prove. It's on his brother's undercard, so it's a big, um, you know, it's a big show. And I think Jose Benavidez wants to prove himself, you know? Uh, and I think it's possible he puts on the type of performance that he did against um, Crawford when they fought. So it's a solid matchup right here for him, and I'm interested in seeing what the outcome is. Um, you know, in this one, obviously Charlo will go in the favor, but after two and a half years of inactivity, you know, what does that mean being the favorite going in against Benavidez? So it's an intriguing battle between two guys that are definitely, uh, you know, at their best, they're decent fighters, and it's a it's a compelling matchup. But what you know, what what are we going to see in this one? Now, that's what the interesting thing is. I think if Charlo doesn't dominate this fight, then I don't know how much of a real um, possibility the Canelo fight is. You know, um, but if he goes out there and he looks lights out and he looks great, then I think Canelo would probably fight. It could fight him. There's a chance it's uh, increase by a lot that Canelo could fight him but you know it's really up in the air we really don't know and again we don't know if this is going to be for the WBC middleweight title or not so um a lot a lot is going to happen you know and we're gonna we're gonna have to wait and see for the fight but Saturday November 25th Showtime pay-per-view Jamel Charlo versus Jose Benavidez Jr. is on on the pay-per-view card so in the co-feature so we'll see what happens but that's it that's what i got i hope you enjoyed the video if you did smash the like button leave a comment subscribe to the channel i really do appreciate any and all support this is true boxing you've been hit with the truth